All right, greetings. This is uh, Stars Are Spirits, and um, and I'm back with part two of Galaxies Don't Exist. Uh, I really want to cover um, stars and galaxies. There are plenty of videos on Flat Earth. Um, as you guys know, that's what my theory is. I believe the Earth is flat. Um, but really what I want to deal with is the stars in space. Um, and what are they? I mean, what are we looking at when we look at a star? And um, so hopefully I have 15 minutes to cover everything. So let's get right to it. Here we have the Antarctica Treaty System. And this is basically, and I'm, I'm going to sum it up because there's a lot of stuff here to read and it's going to bore you guys. So I just want to kind of get straight to it. Uh, this is basically a treaty only allowing certain p people to go to Antarctica and do scientific research. There, as you can see, I have highlighted here, there are 12 countries active in Antarctica. Well, we already know the number 12, 11, and 13 are, are numbers that these secret societies usually put on things to kind of give people, give other members a hint. And, you know, just look in the numerology and, and, you know, I can't really cover that in this video, but you'll be able to f discover a lot on these numbers. But when they have 12 countries involved, that's that's very interesting. Now, we're going to move on to the next thing. Right. So this pretty much Antarctica Treaty is pretty much not allowing people to go to the South Pole because when they go there, they realize we're not on a ball. OK, so here we have. uh <laughs> the galaxies again, right? And again, we the galaxies are flat. And if anybody just takes a look at these things, it's it's kind of strange that we have galaxies that are flat, but you can't believe the Earth is flat. Okay, so I, I just want everyone to really pay attention to that because as I covered in the last video. People don't want to accept that the Earth is flat, but they want to accept that the galaxies are flat. And here we have some really strange looking ones here. Now, <clears throat> what's interesting is, is that these galaxies are thousands of light years away, some of them. And what is also interesting, if there are countless stars in space, which Shouldn't the, the star in the foreground block out our, our line of sight to the stars in the background? But somehow, because, you know, a telescope is only so big. I mean, I don't care how big they build them. It can only capture so much. So it's interesting that they're able to get these stars that are so far away with other stars that are in the foreground. Like here, they kind of show you that this the, the Hubble is looking, see? And somehow it's able to capture, you know, all of this stuff way back here. Okay. Let's move past that really quick. All right. So now another thing what's important to note, take notice is that they've never actually seen a, uh, a star. They've only seen the light coming from stars. Okay. So when you look at a star, you're actually looking at the, the, the light that's coming from it. So what's so how do they really know what a star is if they never seen one? You can't find me one picture of a star. You can only show me the light that's coming from a star. It's kind of like if you're looking directly into a flashlight. You can only see the light coming from the flashlight. You can't actually see the flashlight. Okay. Okay, so we know we know these are photoshopped. I mean, there are so many videos out there. I don't have to cover them all. I mean, you could just go look up, look them up yourself. I'm kind of just skipping past all of that. Um, but here, this right here looks really strange. How the star is coming through the gas. Um, yeah. All right. So let's move past that. All right. So now here we have it where. Let's take a look. There are about 100 billion galaxies in the universe. 100 billion? After 13 billion years, they've swarmed around each other, colliding and merging, undergoing rapid star formation, and suffering periods of drought. And how do they know all of this? 
They range in size and shape from small dwarf galaxies to the beautiful and graceful... Now, now take a look at that. This is flat. This is flat. You're looking at it from a sideways angle. And it's, it's, <laughs> it's also funny, too, how they're able to get the perfect angle to let you know it's flat, but at the same time, you're able to see the galactic center, right? And they always talk about black holes. I mean, nobody has stopped to wonder how do they know there's a black hole there. They don't have a fit picture. They have no evidence at all that there's a black hole in the center of these galaxies. None. So how do they know? I mean, they, they haven't taken any samples. I mean, in order for them to know there's a black hole, they got to be able to test it. And they can't test it. So there's no, you know, there's nothing there. So let's c continue to look. Mid-range spiral galaxies to the gigantic and ancient ellipticals. I mean, the, the real question is, why are they bullshitting us? Why are they lying to us? They're obviously spending a whole lot of money to hide something. Okay? Um... I'm sure, the, and look at this, this has 2 million views, which I don't trust YouTube views much either because YouTube is, is a, they, they hoax a lot of things. But here, it has 2 million views, and, you know, who, who's to say, you know, I mean, all of these people are fooled by this bullshit, and none of it's real. Now, we know they're lying to get a lot of tax dollars, but how do we know... What are they really hiding? What's the purpose behind all of this? Okay, let's continue to watch. The smallest, the dwarf galaxies, can be as small as 200 light years across. And How do they know that? Not much more massive than a star cluster. They contain as few as 100 million stars and act as shepherds. Wait a second. Hold up. 100 million stars? Who? How could you count that? I mean, they say there's 100 million stars, there's 2 trillion ants. Who counts the ants? Who counted all the ants? I mean, Harvard has a study where they counted 200 trillion ants. I mean, how does anyone know this? It's 200 trillion, something like that. But who? how, how does anyone know how many ants, how many stars, how many grains of sand is on a beach? Nobody knows. Words of most of the spiral galaxies we see today. The largest galaxies in the universe are the ellipticals. They are featureless. All right, enough of that. I mean, I, there's only so much I could take of that. Now, here we're on Hubble's uh, website, and this is a famous picture right here. Pillars of creation, right? I mean... This is just artwork. Somebody sitting behind a computer creating this stuff. Let's let's come back to that. Let's come back to that because I'm trying to cover everything in the amount of time I have. All right, now this is a diagram I created. I know it's kind of shabby, but it it'll work. All right, so now here's the sun, here's the flat Earth, here's the water, and just imagine this guy, this gentleman right here, standing on some land. This is the ice wall, which would be the uh, Antarctica, which nobody can go to. Okay, now, and here's the, the stars and whatnot in the background. Now, what's interesting is that how come you never see stars on the horizon? Now, I live five minutes from the beach. I'm at the beach all the time. How come you never see stars? How come this man can't be standing here and see stars? at eye level just like this how come how come you can't see them at eye level you ever notice that hmm so let's zoom out here a little bit right here we go take a look this man will never see stars at eye level So, there we go. Let's zoom over here a little bit. Right? And here's the sun that floats. Of course, it's not, as this, it's not this big. And it probably doesn't look like that. But here's the sun that floats 
above the flat earth and it rotates over top in a circular motion okay but you'll never see stars and what also interesting you'll never see shooting stars coming up so if, if I was to draw something let's say here you will never see a shooting star shooting upward okay you'll never see a shooting upward you will only see shooting stars shooting downward you never see a shooting star coming if you're standing on the beach and you're looking at the horizon you will never never see a star shoot upward okay if you can see those lines okay you'll never see that but somehow when we look at when we go to here okay we see all these galaxies here right in fact let's go to the stars this right here this is bullshit you'll never see this I don't care if you're in Nevada I don't care if you're in Afghanistan you will never see you you can't see galaxies like this you can't okay or see them like this this is all completely photoshopped and I believe NASA puts this stuff on Google to throw us off throw us all completely off course you'll never see this and here they're showing some shooting stars shooting downward. And I mean, you'll never see a star shoot upward, like going like this, completely, completely up. Okay? So, what's the big secret? What's the big secret? I mean, besides the fact, if, all right, we live on a flat earth, but why lie about it? Who cares? Okay? Who cares? Here goes a shooting star right here which is completely photoshopped. All of this is photoshopped. And this is Orion's belt? Oh, give me a break. Okay, so what is this, an eyeball? <laughs> I mean, look at, look at that right there, an eyeball. I mean, this is graphic arts, people. This is, this is, this is some artists in their, their concept of what the, what the universe should look like. fake this is fake everything on there is fake everything I mean how many guys would they have sent down drawing this stuff up that's what I want to know I mean <laughs> oh man you know if we we're on a ball you would see stars shooting upward downward you see him shooting. That's right. You know, you would see him shooting horizontally. You see him diagonally. You see him coming up. Okay. You would even see some hitting the moon. You never see any hitting the moon. Okay. You you. I would even imagine you would see it during the daytime. You would see some shooting stars. You don't see any of that. Okay. So again, if this is you right here that's you you would see stars on the horizon on that line you would see them right here and you also see you would also see a curve okay you would see the stars you would see them down here at eye level I mean staying on the beach the sight would be amazing okay we're being lied to wholesale and it's not even funny it's sad I mean, on Google, it's hard to find anything real. This is what I'm saying. You would see this. You would see stars like down here, but the fact is, you don't. Go out and look. Use common sense. And, and this is something I want to put out, and I might make a, the next video on this. It's called common sense science. And common sense science basically is. You use your, your five senses, which I believe we have more senses, but you, you use your five senses and you go based on that, what your eyes see. If you see a flat horizon, that's what it is. And then you go based, you go from there, okay? You trust your own common sense, your own thoughts, your own experiences. That's what the word experiment means. You don't trust somebody else coming along and telling you what it is. Okay, so... I'll create another video on this, and I'll get back to you guys. Peace and blessings. Have a good day. Hotel.